So today we have a special package right here. So without further ado, let's just get it open. It's upside down. Let's get rid of this bubble wrap. MTG, you know what this is. Let's just open the box. This is actually from Japan. I ordered it on eBay and it's brand new. And let's open it up right here, MTG. It's a really nice box. And it looks like it's the same box design as the MTG B1000. But this is in fact, as you will see right now, it's the MTG B2000 and these foam is flying around here. And let's do papers first before we open it up. We have this paper that slides in here in the case and we can open it up. Be a little bit careful so you don't rip anything. And we'll pull it out here. We got the user guide. I think everything is everything. In? No, it's not. <laughs> everything is not in Japanese. That will be uh, maybe not an issue, but it's nice to have English uh, uh, available. And this is some Japanese. I don't know. It's solar powered. I can tell from this picture. This is also something Japanese, some membership, it looks like, and a card, warranty card in Japanese. Can I use this? I don't know. Uh, now let's get to the good stuff. So it's a really nice box. I like it. And it's the same as the B1000. No, no changes there. But the actual watch is has changed a lot. So a regular pillow, let's pull it out and let's take a look at this beauty. Let me get up close. Can it focus? Oh, you get a little bit shine here. Look at this. I actually prefer this um, silver and the black bezel color rather than the blue or the um, the purple one and the blue has a rubber strap but this has metal and what's special about this strap is that it has plastic inside I think it's to save weight uh, I'm not sure if it it actually makes it stronger or anything but it's to save weight and I also think that it will be uh, a little bit nicer to wear. So maybe we should just put it on the wrist. And it's for sure has enough links for me. And yeah, it's actually really comfortable. And you can, there is no sharp edges here. It slides like a, like a dream. <laughs> you would say, oh, it's, uh, I think it's a nice fit. Um, how big does it look? It's kind of, kind of tall. Is it taller than the B1000? I'm not sure. Let's, let's bring out the, this um, measurement tool. So the width with the crown is 51 millimeters. And lug to lug, let's see. How are the lugs on this watch? Is it these? Two, I think so it's about 47 and thickness is now what does it say 15.5 in thickness so it's quite a chunky watch but you know G-Shock they are chunky and supposed to be so I wouldn't take them too hard on that there is some tag here in Japanese. Uh, it has Bluetooth and the clasp is like a regular clasp on a bracelet. Functionalities, I don't know. We don't need to go too 
hard into the functionalities I'm sure you're aware but uh, it has the same as any other G-Shocks um, almost it has the timer the stopwatch the alarm it has Bluetooth it has the solar power and it has a second time zone down here and the uh, 24 indicator there and it has uh, days and also atomic so you can press one of these buttons i'm not sure about the layout but it's the same as for example the m5610 that it will receive at night when you're sleeping uh, atomic clock signal so it be, will be every morning it will be running exactly the t correct time but it can run without as well and it can also update by the bluetooth so this is actually a really really precise watch oh is there anything else to cover uh, it looks like the the case back is also this uh, plastic or if it's carbon i can't really tell right now sure it will be on the internet and it's i don't know it's a screw back case back maybe not too sure um okay i think that's pretty much what we'll cover today maybe i'll do a review of this later uh, i'm not sure if i want to sell it and buy the black one with the green details uh, you know or the the complete black with some red details or if i want to keep this so that's why the plastic is on. <laughs> so sorry about that, but I, I think it will get the, the, the unboxing experience anyways. So I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.